But good afternoon on this rainy, rainy day. Lord have mercy. If you don't need to go outside, just enjoy yourself at home if you can. Grab those umbrellas if you just can't stay from being outside on today. I am so happy that all my errands up until this moment are completed. I don't have to go out to the grocery store and, and I can do my laundry right here on the premises. Hallelujah. God is good. Um, today we are working on 288 days to this journey and we're going to read first kings the 10th chapter today yes the 10th chapter we shall begin and i am having some ice water let me know in the comments what you all had this morning or you can let me know what you're having right now okay god is good anyhow in all the time let's get started when the queen of Sheba heard of the constant connection of the fame of Solomon with the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions, problems, and riddles. She came to Jerusalem with a very great train, with camels bearing spices, very much gold and precious stones. When she had come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her mind. Solomon answered all her questions. There was nothing hidden from the king, which he failed to explain to her. When the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom and skill, the house he had built, the food of his table, the seating of his officials, the standing at attention of his servants, their apparel, his cupbearers, his assets by which he went up to the house of the Lord for the burnt offerings he sacrificed. She was breathless and overcome. She said to the king, it was a true report. I heard in my own land of your acts and sayings and wisdom. I did not believe it until I came and my eyes had seen. Behold, the half was not told me. You have added wisdom and goodness exceeding the fame I heard. Happy are your men. Happy are these servants who stand continually before you hearing your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God who delighted in you and set you on the throne of Israel. Because the Lord loved Israel forever, he made you king to execute justice and righteousness. And she gave the king 120 talents of gold and of spices of very great store and precious stones no more came such abundance of spices as these the queen of sheba gave king solomon wow 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 what a awesome and amazing honor king solomon received from this sheba amen from this queen sheba i should say she wasn't just a woman named sheba she was a queen Woo. You know, when God, when God does a great work in you, he, he don't half-step it. He don't half-step it. This is the same man, when he was younger, God gave him the opportunity to decide whatever he wanted God to do for him. And of all the requests he could have requested, he could have requested some selfish requests. He requested wisdom to be able to lead God's people and God gave him just that and more amen so that was a pretty self-explanatory uh passage we had today so I'm not gonna add to it you know as as far as the bible application or any summaries we're just gonna keep it at that okay and you all please like the video if you like the video like it. if you don't then I guess you won't like it but Hit that uh that thumb up button if you like it. Share the video if you love it. And comment as usual just because you love to communicate. Amen. Love you all. Have a very, very blessed and dry 
and warm day because I heard the temperatures are supposed to drop today as well as the winds are supposed to really rise. So I'm not quite sure how many miles an hour, but it's supposed to really get windy today, especially in the windy city called Chi-Town, <laughs> Chicago. So stay warm out there and dry. Love you all. Bye.